Hey there, in today's video, we're going to craft a captivating hero section inspired by one of the biggest car companies in the world. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more tutorials on mastering uh, WordPress page builders. So let's get started. Um, so today we'll be doing a Tesla inspired hero section uh, using Elementor or, or Elementor Pro. Um, but before we jump into the design process, let's take a moment to appreciate why Tesla's hero section sets such a high standard. Um, Tesla's approach to web design is elegant, effective, uh, and simple. Uh, it's uh, really a masterclass in minimalistic design. So the copy is concise, uh, focusing on only hiding, highlighting the most like important features of their products that customers uh, care about. The call to action is simple. It's not in your face and it allows customers to go straight to the order page. Now that we understand uh, why Tesla's hero section is so great, let's uh, design our own version using Elementor, okay? Um, so, create a new page or edit an existing one. Now, first you navigate to your WordPress dashboard and create a new page or edit an existing one uh, where you want to add a hero section. Um, and click on Edit with Elementor to enter the Elementor editor. So, uh, create a header and menu. Um, before we dive into creating the hero section, let's multitask a bit. Uh, open the template uh, section. Uh, Click on the theme builder and click on the header to work on creating the header first. So we already have a header in place. Our goal is to enhance it by making necessary edits and improvements to ensure it aligns better with our design or functionality, similar to the hero section in Tesla's layout. Um, so the header style, now let's click on the style tab to adjust the background opacity. Then navigate to the advanced settings to adjust the layout, specifically the padding. Next, uh, remove the button and replace it with icon signatures used in Tesla's design. Make any necessary adjustments to the styles. After that, edit the menu by changing its name. If you're interested in learning how to create a mega menu, uh, we actually do have a video uh, uh, in our Elementor Tutorials playlist, so check that out. Um, uh, the video is titled How to Create a Mega Menu with Elementor. Anyway, back to this tutorial. Uh, so now let's add a section, choose a structure, and add a background image. Okay? Let's uh, go back to the main page and click on the add section, new section uh, button to create a new section for your hero uh, area. Uh, select a suitable structure for your section, such as a single column or two column layout. Uh, next, choose full width under the content width. Then go to the style tab. Here you can upload a background image that fits the theme of your hero section. As you can see, the header and image are not overlaid as in uh, Tesla's uh, version. Uh, the header is positioned above the image, or we could say it's positioned above the hero section. So what we're gonna do is adjust the header. So let's go back to theme builder and edit the header. Uh, so uh, overlay header. Uh, uh, go to advanced settings and input the Z index to bring elements to the front. Um, so lower Z index values, keep them behind on elements. Uh, it's useful for managing how elements overlap and ensuring certain elements appear above others on the page. So after editing, click update. Um, so now let's review the overlay the header. Um, let's return to the main page to ensure that the header is perfectly positioned according to our desired design. 
Um, okay, so there we have it. Now let's focus on the hero section. Um, but before we move on, if you like this video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It will really help us reach more people, okay? So, okay, now back to the tutorial. Uh, now let's add a heading and subheading to the uh, hero section. So just drag and drop a heading widget onto your section. Uh, customize the text and highlight your message. You can also add a subheading to provide more context. Uh, we use white text instead of black text, so I can test a sample, but you get the point. Um, adjust the layout and style, so you're free to play with the uh, layout and design to suit your preferences, but I really want it to look more like Tessa's hero section. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, the call to action button. So now let's add the call to action button. So simply hit, drag and drop the button widget onto your section, customize them with your desired text and style them, okay? Really, there you have it, uh, a stunning hero section inspired by Tesla's hero section, um, created easily using Elementor. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell too, so that you can get more about tutorials. It will also help us tremendously in reaching more people with access to tutorials. Um, hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.